Hello everybody, welcome to examsavvy.com. Examsavvy is a site that has all the information related to examinations, scholarships, fellowships, educational loans and so on. So if you are an academic or an intellectual, maybe you will have to visit this site often. This video is about to explain to you everything about Washington Assessment of Student Learning WASL. So let's discuss it. The Washington Assessment of Student Learning WASL was a standardized educational assessment system given as the primary assessment in the state of Washington from, Washington from spring 1997 to summer 2009. The WASL was also used as a high school graduation examination beginning in the spring of 2006 and ending in 2009. It has been replaced by the high school proficiency exam HSP, uh, sorry, HSPE for high school students and the measurements of students progress MSB for grades 3 to 8. The WASL assessment consisted of examinations over four subjects reading, mathematics, science and writing with four different types of questions, multiple choice, short answer, essay and problem solving. It was given to students from 3rd through 8th grades and 10th grade. 3rd and 6th graders were tested in reading and mathematics. 4th and 7th graders in mathematics reading and writing fifth and eighth grades graders were tested in reading mathematics and science the high school assessment the high school assessment given during a student's 10th grade year contained all four subjects when compared to the other forms of academic assessment standardized testing is said to be a cost-effective method to evaluate the performance of the schools they also suggest that standardized testing can be used to do further educational accountability. Now let's take a look at the components. The reading and mathematics components of the WASL assessment are administered to students in the 3rd through 8th grades in Washington's public schools. The uh, writing portion of the WASL is given to 4th and 5th grade, sorry, 7th graders. Science in is given uh, at 5th and 8th grade for 10th grade students. 10th grade students are required to take WASL examinations in four subjects. In 2008, satisfactory competition, sorry, completion of the WASL reading and writing examinations will be mandatory high school graduation requirements. Students must also attempt the math portion of the WASL of the WASL in 2008 in order to meet graduation requirements though they need not pass it. In 2013 satisfactory completion of the WASL science and mathematics examination will also be high school graduation requirements. For high school students, high school students are allowed to retake the WASL during either a summer retest session in August or an alternate assessment in November. Students are allowed five attempts at the WASL before they are required to pay for their assessment. Students with disabilities. Students with disabilities have many options in regard to the WASL. Students with minor disabilities can opt to take the WASL basic assessment. This assessment involves the student taking the re regular WASL but they are scored on a lower scale. For example, a student may require a score of 400 to pass the reading WASL at a regular level. The WASL basic passing score on the same test would be 350. Students with extreme disabilities, students with more extreme disabilities can take an alternate assessment in lieu of the WASL. The WASL Alternate Assessment System WAAS Portfolio. The WAAS Portfolio consists of a collection of evidence created by the student and their IEP team over the course of the school year for 11th and 12th grade students with disabilities 11th and 12th grade students with disabilities retesting the WASL have another uh, alternate as assessment option the WAAS 
uh, DAW which allows the student to take a lower grade level WASL for example a student may take the third grade math WASL and uh, receive credit for graduation if they pass it little more information on it beginning in 2008 high school graduates were offered alternate options of the WASL in order to meet graduation requirements students who attempt the WASL in reading writing or math have the option to use the SAT ACT AP or PSAT math only scores instead of their WASL scores additional options exist as well such as a waiver for the students who have passed another state's assessment the state assessment must be proved approved by OSPI as being an equivalent examination students may also gather a collection of evidence of their work and attempt to use they use that in lieu of the WASL Another option is a grades comparison where a student who misses meeting the standard of, on a segment of the WSL can perform a GPA comparison with other students who have taken similar classes and did pass the WASL. One more time. The Washington Assessment of Student Learning WASL. So what exactly is it? The Washington Assessment of Student Learning WASL was a standardized educational assessment system given as the primary assessment in the state of Washington from spring 1997 to summer 2009. The WASL was also used as a high school graduation examination beginning in the spring of 2006 and in ending in 2009. It has been replaced by the high school proficiency exam HSPE for high school students and the measurements of students' progress MSP for grades 3 to 8. The WASL assessment consisted of exams examinations over four subjects reading, mathematics, science and writing with four different types of questions, multiple choice, short answer, essay and pro problem solving. It was given to students from third through eighth grades and tenth grade. Third and the sixth graders were tested in reading and maths. 4th and 7th graders in mathematics, reading and writing, 5th and 8th graders were tested in reading, mathematics and science. The high school assessment given during a student's 10th grade year contained all four subjects when compared to other forms of academic, academic assessment. Standardized testing is said to be a cost-effective method to evaluate the performance of schools. They also suggest that standardized testing can be used to further educational accountability. I believe you have learned a lot about Washington Assessment of Student Learning WASL. Thank you for watching. More information at examsavvy.com. Have a great day ahead.